So my sister asked me, Mary, now what exactly was the purpose of that little scene that you caused back there during the middle of dinner? And all I could say was, it was just something I could do. Okay, sorry, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, let me back up. So, meeting Jesus, uh, I guess I just never thought that he would be so, so personable. And, and, and that he would come to our home and have dinner with our family and laugh and, and joke and he even told jokes himself. And so sitting with him, everything else just seemed less important. So that night, right before Passover, we wanted to honor Jesus for all that he had done for our family. And, and looking back, you know, and realizing that oh, the world was against him, it would have been better just to have let him know that, that we were united with him, that we were on his side, you know. And we missed an opportunity there. We really did. I'm sorry, where was I? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we decided to have dinner and to honor Jesus. I mean, how exactly do you think somebody who raised your brother from the dead, right? So Martha, well, she prepared this incredible meal. And me, what could I do? I mean, what did I have to give? You know, so I decided to give him something that was most precious to me. Um, but precious, you know, given to Jesus, gosh, it's never wasted. So I knew this, and, and soon I did what to me was obvious. Now, some people weren't pleased with my choice. It wasn't planned. It was very spur of the moment. And so I could see that as I let my hair down in public, that's just something you don't do. <laughs> and then I wiped his feet with my hair. And then I poured this very expensive perfumed oil on his feet. Oh, and the smell, the smell, it just, it filled the whole room. <sighs> that night, if I would have stayed paralyzed in fear of what my sister thought and the anger of the onlookers and what the disciples thought, I mean, and what they might say, I, I might have never worshipped him at all the way that I did. Oh, and the fragrance. <laughs> it stayed there. It stayed in the room for days and days. And it's funny because at his feet, none of that mattered. What they thought, what the onlookers saw and thought didn't even matter. And then as Jesus came to my defense, so why did I do it? Because it was all I had to give. And just days after, Jesus would be pouring out all that he had for us.